say there's such a thing as just being evil. Shalom, shalom. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yom Shai, by Shem Wakagadash. Yeah, I'm watching the last episode of um, <clears throat> Dahmer. And, um, you know, he, he's asking the priests, uh, the Catholic priests, is he, uh, do we believe that evil exists? And, um, you know, we'll go and I'm gonna get some scriptures and show you that, yeah, evil do exist on the planet Earth. And um, all nations, even Israelites, can be evil, but there's an evil, as the scripture said, Esau, Edom, he is the evil. People can be wicked, but Esau, Edom was created to be the wicked. All right? He comes from the sons of the wicked, the Edomites. The sons, the seed of Cain. And this guy right here, he was from the seed of Cain. You know? Jeffrey Dahmer was the seed of Cain. Uh, John Wayne Gacy was from the seed of Cain. Look these up. These, these Look these men up. Ted Bundy was from the seed of Cain. So evil do exist. Now listen to this. I think you could probably guess that I do. Are you looking at the picture? And as you can see, it's Yahweh Shai, it's a painting, but they're all melanated. See that? One of the uh, disciples right here, one or two of them back here got a beard. They both got beards. See that? These are melanated. This one got a beard over here, two beards, but you can see they're so-called black men, so-called brown black men he's looking like it. and um yeah you, he, you're looking at your future slave masters for you Edomites <laughs> he's yeah because all of these uh, Edomites you know <clears throat> on this side you, you're all gonna come back in the kingdom you're gonna be reborn to serve in captivity under the children of Israel. And I went to church as a little kid. And then on Halloween, I went as the devil. <laughs> it's in a spirit already, you know, to be wicked, man. It's already in a spirit to be the wicked. It's part of their nature. That's how Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, the Heavenly Father, created Esau. Again, the Lord is a God, all power. He's the God of balance. All right, everything with the Lord is about a balance. Okay? And, and you heard out his mouth. He said when he was a kid, he, he wanted to be the devil. <laughs> you can't make it up, man. And uh, something felt good about that <laughs> he said some and something felt good about that all right because it's in their nature it's part of their spirit okay the book of Habakkuk his soul is not upright in them Proverbs chapter 16 verse 4 the Lord said that he he should the day of the day of uh he shall punish the wicked for the day of uh high ghost you know, brothers know it. All right. Hey, the Lord is not playing, man. Now, when you go into that word evil for the day of evil, so, so like it. Proverbs 16 and, four, 16 and 4, for the day of the Lord, the day of evil is for the wicked. When you go for that word in Hebrew, evil, 
One of the definitions is wicked man. Wicked man, which is Esau Edom, goes back to his, his, his nature, who he is. He made an altar to the devil, to Satan. Why? Because these are the children of Satan. It's in their nature. He made an altar, just like the righteous. We have an altar. We went over that uh, at camp yesterday, Isaiah 19, verse 19. There should be an altar in the midst of Egypt. That Egypt is talking about America today spiritual Egypt once all over again and uh, the prophets those righteous men those righteous souls start with our elders out in the highways and byways being sincere you know we're that altar on the righteous side on the right hand side on the righteous side but see you Edomites you serve Satan on the left hand side that's the balance of the Lord. The Lord created Esau to be that way, to be wicked, evil. Just like uh, Jeffrey Dahmer said, he said, when he was a kid, <laughs> oh man, he, he wanted to be the devil. So he got a costume and he dressed up as the devil. And he said he also made an altar to him. Because <laughs> they serve Satan, man. How many times we gonna keep telling you this, man? A lot of you Christians are gonna learn the hard way because this man is not gonna care about your religion. He ain't gonna care about your sweet Jesus. You Muslims too, all you other denominations that don't know Yahweh Bashem Shai, you're serving idols, and Esau Edom is gonna come down with great wrath. He don't care about all of that. He's about to show his true horns, the wicked. Let me, let me rewind that back. I went to church as a little kid. And then on Halloween, I went as the devil. <laughs> and uh, something felt good about that. Then I got a little older. I made an altar to him, the devil, and I was planning on making a life-size one, so I was saving a lot of the body parts for it. Even in movies, like Star Wars, I always like the bad guys more, you know? <laughs> Look at the face of the, of the priest. He's like, man, what the hell? Well, so did I. Those characters are written better. Yeah. What do you really want to ask me, Jeff? Well, I was watching that... Uh, that John Wayne Gacy on the news. Yeah, John Wayne Gacy was another uh, <clears throat> maniac, lunatic, killer, wicked seed of Satan, the seed of Cain. You know, again, you could Google this, look it, look it up, man. The horrific. Uh, 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 oh man, I don't even want to get into it because I don't want to get a flag on this. But listen, you know, people say we're the same because. We both did terrible things, but I really think we're different. I admitted to everything, all of it, and Casey still says he didn't do it. I wanted the death penalty, and he was saying that he's not afraid to die because he's made his peace with God. Is going to go to heaven. So, 
I guess my question is do you think God's forgiven him for all that? Are you asking about him or about yourself, Jeff? I don't think I deserve forgiveness for what I've done. <clears throat> and he's right. Based on the book of Hebrews chapter 12, it's, no, it's not going to be no forgiveness or repentance for Esau or Edom. He sought it with tears. All right? And Gacy and Bundy, all of them, you, you're, you're going to come. Yeah, you're in, you're in the spirit world. Job chapter 3 talks about that. All spirits go to the spirit world. But you're going to be back reborn in the regeneration in the kingdom when Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12, 144, and the Israelites are ruling as kings and priests with righteousness on the planet Earth. All of you souls are coming back to, yeah, you're going to serve as slaves. That's in the scriptures. Well, it's not about deserve, Jeff. That's the thing about grace. We don't deserve it, but we get it anyway. You know, Jesus wasn't alone when he was dying on the cross. There were two criminals that were being crucified with him. And one of them said to Jesus, kind of making fun of him. He says, hey, if you're the son of God, why don't you save yourself and save us while you're at it? But the other one, he shouts this guy down, says, hold on. You and me, we're criminals. We're getting what we deserve. But this guy, Jesus, he didn't do nothing wrong. Then he says to Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And so Jesus turns to him. And you know what he says? He says, today you will be with me in paradise. Yeah, because paradise is the spirit world. All souls, Edomites, Ishmaelites, Israelites, they all go to the spirit world. Okay? Job chapter 3 tells you about that. All right, so once them even even the other even the other criminal that was crucified that was mocking the Lord, he's going to go into the spirit world as well. You know? And that's what Yahweh Shai was saying to the man he was saying, you, you're going to be with me. Today you will be with me in paradise. Because they were both going to give up the ghosts. All right? Yahweh Shai, Daniel 7 tells you uh, the angels uh, um, uh, met Yahweh Shai when he gave up the ghosts to receive his glory on the right-hand side of, Yah uh, of Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. So all spirits go there. Jesus didn't ask him what he'd done to get crucified, didn't ask him if he was sorry. All this guy had to do to be saved was to believe that Jesus was the Son of God. And let us not forget Heavenly Father. All right, and that's the point, man. I just wanted to play this little, this little scene, you know, and um, to show you who's the evil, who's the wicked, all right, on the planet Earth, and it's you Edomites. Call Lord Yahweh Bad Shem Yahweh Shai, Bad Shem Rakakadash, all praise and glory to Yahweh. Lamaam Shem Ka Chayanaya, Chayanaya Chayanaya, Lamaam Shem Ka Baba Kasha. Shalom.